Welcome to my 1999 Jeep Cherokee Armor panel and skid plates video. We're going to move quite quickly here, so let's begin at the front. It's a fully skinned hood. There are no supports under this hood. I had a dimple diet in many places to keep it rather stiff. Here's a great view of the auto fab hood pins. There's three across the front, two across the back. They're kind of held down there with some uh, good fishing line because the original stuff breaks very easily. Nice flat black paint across the middle of the hood. You can drive right into the sun. There's zero reflection. It uh, it's actually works very well. Three different size dimple dies across the front there. One different size across the back. They uh, al allow a lot of the heat to escape keep the hood temperatures down very very nicely you see the cow there the cow has been uh, completely uh, redone sheet metal dimple dyed all the the uh, windshield wiper motors and windshield wipers have been removed stainless steel mounting hardware there's nut certs behind that it is just not screwed into the sheet metal there's the wind deflector sheet metal with the 5 16 round bar top to keep it from becoming flimsy and just flopping around uh, vinyl stickers on that I had custom made up and across the top is the uh, sun visor you'll see that in a second the windshield has been removed I had a mar I, I can put Margard number 10 in there it's a quarter inch uh, plexi it uh, it's fully uh, it's removable for the summer months just mounts into the same bolt holes you see there um, the door skins there are no uh, doors. I'll go over that in a second. Actually, there's doors, but there's there's no actual interior part. Here's the front Tompkin Fender armor. They use eighth inch contoured uh, steel with uh, it's a 120 wall, one and a half inch DOM. And then they do the flares up real nice. There's an inner fender support in there uh, from Tompkin. Very nice. Um, moving on to the door skins, they. Uh, have been gutted there's no glass in the vehicle anymore the uh, the door skins are now just what they appear to be very thin sheet metal we used a 5 16 round bar to uh, make a uh, interior door that actually fits very snug in there I have a vinyl window uh, made from a BMW convertible top that's actually fits on the top of that you can see here the handles are are just uh, for looks there's no operation of them except for the handle there on the left that is the actual uh, like a like a crane type of uh, door handle to get in and out locks it up keeps it real nice and snug this keeps all the debris out all the wind out it's a pretty good option keeps it super light uh, more vinyl stickers there and uh, the black is, is vinyl here on the doors it's not painted the rear door skin is uh, mounted permanently as you'll see here uh, the, the handles are once again inoperable they uh, they're just for looks they've been uh, remounted a lot lower position uh, that way you can just reach right over into the toolboxes inside there and, and, and get what you need uh, all stainless steel mounting hardware um, this is the rear quarter panel armor it's JCR's uh, version it's an integrated uh, tail light and brake lights in there all LED uh, I put a 120 wall one and a half inch DOM coffin rail on there uh, it's all painted black as well to kind of match here you can see the the gas uh, door has been elevated to keep it from snagging it's up there now in the window the rear windows are quarter inch Margard number 10 um, they're removable as well although why would you want to here's the uh, the rock rails 120 wall one and a half inch DOM with the 2x6 capped on either end. Um, they're strutted directly into the frame, subframe, which has been supported, I'm sorry, uh, reinforced tip to tail. This is the uh, poly skid plates. They're, uh, they've been taken to a cabinet shop to be mitered 45 degree angle. All the bolts are, uh, all the uh, nuts are flush mounted so you can't snag them on anything. Rusty's uh, transfer case skid plate, that will be removed soon for a a custom belly pan uh, I don't like that but it's there for now so what can you do and here's the rear Rusty's uh, gas tank skid plate anyway thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video